Welcome and thank you for tuning in to today's video. I'm really excited for today's video. I'm not going to be making a beat on the NPC or anything like that. Just want to welcome you guys to the new uh, studio that we have right here and just run through and also just say thank you to each and every one of you that have just shown so much love on my previous video of me saying goodbye to my old studio. I was going through, I could not reply to each and every single one of your comments, but just made me emotional emotional and just so grateful on how many of you were just saying so many kind things. Honestly, I, I, I love this community. I've gone through and put out videos. You guys have been huge supporters of this channel, but going through that specific video made me very emotional and grateful to have you here. I honestly feel like we are a family, even though we don't know each other face to face, uh, but just sharing the same love and the same passion uh, makes this personal with me. And um, I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. Now, if you've been with me uh, from my old studio videos, uh, you'll know that I was in a small little corner in a garage or it was a, a garage that we lived in my wife and my three-year-old daughter we were there for three years that's where I started my YouTube channel and it was very challenging in that you or in that studio since I had to tear up or, or you know set up the studio bring out the lights put the tripods the cameras by the time I hit record it was like an hour and a half or two hours later once I was done uh, lighting up the room with cameras I would be so burnt out and uh, you know I had to give you guys kind of like my leftovers but I enjoy what I do I enjoy filming these videos so I still did it and I did it with love and passion not only that but once I was done filming these videos I had to just shut down the studio put away lights clean up the the garage and uh put out cables my wife and my daughter come in and i'm doing my best to keep the place somewhat clean so we can have also family time in the same room and now we are here in this new location it's a small bedroom but i have my own dedicated room now to have my studio here now the benefit of this new uh, location here is that i will have my tripod my camera a camera b and my lighting nothing's gonna move here nobody's gonna come in here other than myself now I can focus a lot more and give my energy to the creative side of filming these videos versus the technical side of videography and setting up cameras and lights which means that uh, I will probably be pushing out more content than I was uh, prior to today's video now a quick rundown of the studio uh it's somewhat done i feel comfortable again it's a very small room so there's not much that i can play with but i'll go ahead and run down what we have i'll start off with cameras uh, i have camera a which as of right now is going to be pointing towards me so i could be focusing right here on my videos and then i also have camera b this camera up here which is gonna be awesome because that is a direct shot for the mpc which is gonna be a better experience for you guys as we are watching these videos and now moving on to the lighting uh the lighting it's very simple right now but i have my key light which is a very small uh light that i have and this is just pointing straight at me right here and that's what's lighting me up right now and at the moment i do not have a hair light but i do want to bring in a hair light later on uh, but i do have some practical lights that you'll see right behind me i have this small little lamp right here that i got in ikea which is dimmable and i'm able to kind of just set the tone or the mood of the room while i'm creating music and also i have this small little light down here that is pointed towards the plant that i have right there as a practical light adding some dimension to the videos small little touches like that thrown in the background now moving over to my speakers uh my speakers in my old studio it's so funny because i have awesome speakers these are the focal solo 6b's uh, i used to have them on stands and the funny part is that in my old studio i would use these speakers but not as much again i was sharing my room with uh, my daughter and my wife so i wasn't blasting music through these speakers the way i will now uh, but i had them in stands and the stands are great but i had to put the stands out because again this is a very small room and i'm trying to do the best that i can to conserve the space that i have so i just went ahead and ditched uh, the stands and put them right on top of my desk is it perfectly tuned up with the room no no, it is not but it is good for me to start making music and start making decisions while I'm producing music and that's all that matters for me right now now moving over to my favorite spot of the studio which is gonna be this wall right here uh, this is where I have everything that 
it's gonna help me to create music uh, right here I have my vinyl player the uh, audio technica LP 60 uh, it is gonna stay right here it's not gonna go nowhere in <laughs> my old studio I had to tear it down so there was times where I'm like you know I'm just gonna sample off of my phone because I don't want to bring this thing out hook it up it would take me so much time now I could just leave it right here and right next to my record player is where I'm going to keep my sampler whether it's my MPC my SP 404 or the Octatrack, I'm gonna just hook it up right next to my sampler and start sampling music. Now this is awesome because again, it's gonna push me to sample a lot more on vinyl versus anything else because that is what I enjoy the most when I'm sampling. Is it the right or wrong way of doing things? No, it's just a personal preference of mine, but it just was not as easy for me back then the way it will be now. Now, right underneath my record player, I have a very important piece of the studio, which is the analog heat. As of right now, I'm gonna keep my analog heat right here. Uh, everything that I'm doing, whether it's uh, any sampler that I'm using or any signal chain that I'm using, the very last piece that is going to touch is going to be this analog heat that is kind of working like my finalizer or the final touch to give my audio signal before I send that signal into my Apollo interface so I can print my music. I made plenty of videos on this analog heat. It's an awesome piece. Uh, go ahead and check out those videos. I'll leave a link somewhere up here. And of course, right next to my analog heat, I have the beautiful MPC 2000 XL. Now, I hardly use this MPC, but something about this MPC, just looking at it, inspires me. It brings some type of inspiration for me. So I do not want to have it tucked away in a closet where nobody can see it. I want to make sure I can see it because it does bring inspiration whenever I walk in and I just look at a 2000 XL. I don't know. It's just something weird about me, but it definitely triggers some good inspiration. Now, everything I just ran through with you, uh, this is what I need to make music. I mean, of course, we all want more gear and who doesn't, right? Uh, I'd love to add new pieces, but uh, th these pieces that I just showed you uh, are the essential pieces for me when it comes down to making music. As a matter of fact, uh, you could take away the analog heat, you could take away the vinyl player, uh, the MPC and a pair of headphones. That to me is that one piece that uh, I could just unplug and make music non-stop. So this is my setup and I'm very happy with the setup as of right now. I might be tweaking things here and there and changing it up a little bit, but for the most part, this is gonna be our workflow. I'm very excited, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm thankful to, for the next few videos. Hopefully you guys see my face a little more frequent as I'm going to be planning out to film uh, most of these videos at nighttime while my wife and my daughter are, are asleep. I'm able to just unplug and come right here in this room and start just banging out content. So I'm excited. I'm grateful. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. Much love to each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch y'all on our next video. Peace.